I never wear dangly earrings. Um, I like them. They look good. Okay. Yeah, I like them because you don't have any, like, no necklace yeah. or anything. So, you need a little something. Yeah. Looking good. Thanks. Okay, nice. You have a perfect day for it. It's not too hot. I know. I know. Oh, awesome. Yeah, cool. it was. Heading out there to do photos soon? Yeah. Don't cry. I'm not crying. <laughs> There's a beautiful verse in the Bible which says, We love because God first loved Jake and Brittany. Paul says, Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. And I suggest to you two that this unconditional love is a healthy model for your marriage. Today is not your marriage. Today is your wedding day. Tomorrow, your marriage starts. Today, you become one as husband and wife. Tomorrow, you roll up your sleeves and you start putting the work in. You put the work into your marriage to keep the two of you as one. And I say work because for some reason, we can fall into the trap of thinking because the two of you are one and because you are happily married, you're going to start thinking the same way. Communication is going to be so easy. You'll never argue about anything. The married people here are already laughing. But you already know that. And that's not how marriage works. It takes work. Being one doesn't mean that you see things the same way. Being one means you move in the same direction. It means you are united. It means that in unity, you find common ground for the common good in your life. Unity is the realization that you two can do more together. And when you two work on this in your marriage, your marriage then becomes a life for all of us.
So everybody, if you would, please raise your glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. May you love each other more and more every day you spend together. Congratulations, Brittany and Jake.